guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to tell you what in a way you should wear underneath your clothes now I'm gonna keep it really basic and I'm just going to help you understand what bra or underwear you should wear underneath your everyday clothes and also when you're going out to a party so without further ado let's begin so first we're going to start with the basics okay what you should have in your lingerie drawer or closet or whatever okay and you cannot skip out on these two so they are a black bra and a nude bra these are two things you just have to have in your wardrobe you cannot do without these two bras okay forget the fancy ass lace bras and all of that these two are a must you can survive with only having a black and nude bra so this is a standard standard black bra it has a wire underneath to help your to just give your tatas some support your boobies or your tatas some support and this is like a regular cup there's no padding whatsoever there's just a slight padding obviously but there's no extra push from here because i don't need it and i find that a little bit uncomfortable by the way i'm a 34d if you're wondering what size i am um so yeah i don't need extra padding this is just a regular one with detachable straps so you can take this off if you want a strapless bra so this will just wrap around and you can attach them whenever you need to which i find very useful i think this is from triumph if i'm not sure i will find bras that i have and leave a link down below to where you can purchase them uh but i think this is from triumph i i'm pretty sure so yeah this is this is a standard black bra then we have a standard nude bra which is the same thing only in a nude color so again detachable straps if you want to wear a strapless bra and i mean yeah there's nothing to say no padding no extra padding just the basic cup now this is very good to wear underneath your t-shirt uh, because it's very smooth and uh, there's no lace or like any sort of embroidery work on it so it's really good for your basic simple everyday tees so a nude bra is a must now I get this question a lot what should I wear underneath a white top or a white t-shirt so always wear a nude bra underneath your white t-shirt or white top or whatever it is do not wear white on white because it is going to show you want to wear something that matches your skin comes very close to your skin tone now for deeper skin tones this is not a nude bra this will automatically be like a pale of white bra so go just buy a bra which matches your skin tone you know if you're a deeper shade buy like a tan shade bra so that will be a nude for you uh, so i hope you're understanding so that would be perfect now can i just say i hate wearing bras like they're so uncomfortable i'm sure all of you agree everyone who wears a bra on this planet will agree how uncomfortable it is to wear a bra anyway we can't help it we got them boobies and we got to give them some support Okay, so once we're done with the basic two bras, we're going to move on to the other bras that you can wear. Uh so this is one I got from again Westside. I love shopping at Westside. They have this small little lingerie section where they have Enamor, Triumph and all these other uh lingerie brands. So I think Westside is a good recommendation for lingerie shopping. Uh just putting it out there. Uh this is another bra that I got which is so amazing. It's my favorite bra right now. Um unfortunately they don't have it in do they have it in nude? I'm not sure. Uh but this is such a good bra. I'm going to zoom you in. So there's no wire in this bra. It's absolutely smooth and it's got padding right up till here. You know one of those smooth padded bras and there's no extra cup push up or whatever. It's just a basic regular padding. But what I love is that there's no wire and it does give you the full lift and support that you need. So it supports your boobies and also gives you a little bit of cleavage, well a lot of cleavage. Uh, so that's what I love about this, and it's so comfortable. You can wear this for hours without any wire stabbing into your skin. I absolutely love this. This is one of the best inventions in bras, according to me. But the only sad part is it's not detachable, so you cannot detach the straps. This is how it is. It comes like that. You can adjust these straps. So you get this in uh, in Westside. One of the brands in Westside has this. They have it in grey, blue, nude, and black, I believe. Uh so yeah there are a lot of bras like this that are come out now it's just like all over everywhere so you can try and find this at the mall as well uh then we have what do we have we have a la i'm obsessed with lace let me put it out there like anything lace i got to have it especially in lingerie so this is another bra i got years ago this is like a 34b i think a 34b this is like years ago i got this in vegas or Mexico or somewhere I'm not sure. 
but it's completely see-through you can hi you can see through this okay there's no padding whatsoever this is just a fancy bra that you wear underneath a transparent top or like a jacket or something if you're that comfortable but this is just one of those fancy bras it's comfortable it's really comfortable it does have a wire however uh, so it doesn't stab you it's not one of those really harsh ones but it looks really cute it's got a bow in the middle and uh, again these are not detachable straps but I'm just giving you options of what bras are out there uh, so you can buy something like this if you have a smaller uh, if you have small boobs you can wear this even if you have big boobs actually but um, mind you these are see-through and I'm gonna tell you what you can wear underneath for your nips um when you wear this sort of a bra so you can wear like a nipple tape so nipple silicones underneath and then this bra so another type of bra you can wear are bralettes so girls wear them underneath sleeveless tops uh jackets transparent tops so they look something like this so this is a bralette from h&m can i just tell you h&m has some amazing lingerie and they have a sale section like most of the time with um thongs g-strings bralettes bras and they're literally so cheap they're 250 bucks for three thongs three thongs and this bralette was for how much was it for so this was for 250 rupees or something it was that inexpensive and such good quality they just have a sale section so if you want to just visit h&m you really should they have some amazing lingerie collection so what this is i just got this like a week or two ago so it's again no wire it's got like this stretchy material it's got lace i'm obsessed so this is it it's got lace and it's got a slight padding underneath nothing you know crazy and it's got these detailing which i love i love this detailing right here so super comfortable not detachable so again really comfortable um and just to slip underneath like in the night when you have to step down for a bit you don't want to wear a wire bra you just want to throw on a t-shirt or a top and wear something comfortable i think this is something amazing uh this also helps with your nips because this has a padding whereas that lacy one did not have a padding i have another bralette here which i can show you which does not have a padding by the way um this it's something like this I haven't even worn this look at the tag this is from forever 21 and this is how it looks so it goes all the way below your bust it's like a crop bralette again you can wear this sort of a thing underneath uh, a transparent t-shirt a transparent top you get them in many colors like black green blue like all colors basically so the best part again about this is that it's got a racer back so you can wear this under your racer back tees like uh, what do you call them tank tops anything razor back or even if you have like a normal um say like a normal sleeve but you want something fancy showing i think this is good uh so yeah this is i mean that's pretty much it this is for 1099 rupees from forever 21 okay moving on to um something like this i don't even know what they call i think they call caged bras i don't know um so there's something like this which has a fancy ass back you know something like this so you can wear this underneath your sleeveless top underneath any to any t-shirt or top that has a low back but you don't want to wear a bra and your tatas are too big honey and you cannot wear a strapless because you have to keep pushing them up i know i get it i get it big boobies are a blessing but when it comes to bras they're they're a pain um but then if you um you know have a really low back and you want to wear a bra obviously to support your boobies wear something like this because even if this shows at the back of your top this looks cool you know it's like a cage thing it comes in many designs you get a butterfly design you get like crisscross you get a lot of it um so yeah this is something that i picked up from a regular lingerie store you have a lot of these in lokanwala i'm sure you'll get you know like a basic lingerie store where you have like bras and chuggies Sorry. bras and panties hanging from the side uh yeah i don't know why they do that but yeah one of those stores you'll get this they, they're worn by a lot of college girls i believe something like this and it looks pretty good it has a light padding nothing crazy again uh you can get this in another color i got this in blue never wore it uh but you can get this just for a slight change if you have a black top and if you want to wear something neon underneath i think this will look stunning it's so pretty again it's got a cage back uh, you get many other designs too now let's move on to our chicken cutlets something that i wear most of the times because i mean they're lifesavers for models i mean having silicones and nipple tapes and stuff are like lifesavers because usually when you're on the runway you gotta have you have like backless stuff you have tube tops no back no straps you just have to have something that covers your nips 
okay so tops that have a single strap like those really delicate straps or you have a backless absolute nothing on your back and just one string and you're like miles obviously i cannot wear a bra underneath this what do i wear so introducing a tiny chicken cutlets these are called nipple tapes silicone nipple tapes really soft and they come with the plastic so you detach them stick them to your tatas like that okay and then when you're done you get them off and you have a sticky thing here keep the plastic safe and attach the plastic back every time you use it because then the stickiness will go away if you lose this plastic okay so um that's one so yeah these are a lifesaver definitely get these you get them online as well now zivami and so many other places just type nipple silicone tapes or something like that and you'll get it um i got these under like it's just like a basic lingerie store that's where i got these um then for my big booby girls out there we have other chicken cutlets these are ginormous chicken cutlets I think they're in the size D only. Um, I think they have A, B, C, D. That's all. They don't have more than that, according to me. So you get the plastic off, stick them on your tatas. Ew, looks weird. And then once you get them off, you keep the plastic safe and safe, and you stick them back. That's all you gotta do. So it doesn't have straps or a back strap, right? It's just on your boobs. So you can wear this on your really thin spaghetti tops, halter tops tube tops whatever for my small booby girls out there if you want some cleavage this is your best shot at getting some cleavage or some shape to your chest you can wear this and then you can wear your regular bra to give you some sort of shape or cleavage or something underneath your boobs that's what some of the models do um, if they want to look a little bit um, you know fuller on their chest you will wear this and then your regular bra so it will give you some sort of a boobage happening out there and then we have literally nipple tapes so these are so these are your nipple tapes they're literally like stickers for your nipples i don't recommend these simply because you have to throw them out once you're done wearing them you have to chuck them in the bin you cannot reuse them and they come in a pack of like i think five six i don't know uh, but i don't like them i used to use them but not anymore once i discovered the silicone nipple tapes those were it for me so i highly recommend those over these so now for my big big huge booby girls firstly i want to say do not be conscious about your boobs okay people die to have big boobs and trust me just don't be conscious and walk in confidence and uh, just love your boobs i see a lot of girls who have big chests always conscious of how their boobs look and if everyone's staring at them let them stare girl you got them <laughs> cuz having big boobs listen it's a gift okay just you have to know what to wear underneath and uh, just to pick the right stuff all the time you know make sure that you're comfortable um i also have one more option which i will insert right here i don't have it with me cuz i don't wear those so for my big chested girls if you want to wear strapless uh something strapless top you can wear a bandeau top underneath which is something like this you know what a bandeau top is i'll insert a picture here if i can but this is like a sort of a bandeau top without the straps you know it just comes like in this form it just comes around your boobs so you just wear that strap and then you wear whatever top you want underneath that helps a lot and it comes with the padding as well so for my big booby girls out there that's your only option according to me you do get strapless bras for you like a g size or triple d and stuff you do get them but in wakol i don't know if it's a japanese brand i think they have it in infinity 1 and 2 yeah just a couple of stores but again they're very uncomfortable for big boobs So your best option is the bandeau top it will give you support as well. Okay, so let's move on to the lower section which is our the JJ. Um now I'm going to tell you I'm going to show you different sorts of underwears you can wear. Something that makes me cringe a lot is having to see underwear lines through girls pants or jeans. I think that is mm, it just makes me cringe. Girls do not wear panties that have a thick lining like your basically your regular cotton panties and then you wear your jeans on top you will always see your underwear line coming through your jeans and that is not a very flattering look in general i think it looks it looks a little disturbing honestly but there are so many options you can do to avoid that underwear line So number 1 is a seamless panty. So this is what a seamless pa- it's weird to show my panty on screen, but I'm just going to show you what it actually means. So something like this which does not have a thick border, you know what I mean? It's not finished. It's got like a seamless finish. 
um, and I think that's your best bet to wear underneath your jeans so when you wear the seamless panties you cannot tell the panty line firstly because it covers your entire butt and finally it does not have a regular stitch like your other cotton panties do have so check out seamless panties when you go to a lingerie store and you will get to know what I'm talking about so again seamless panties are your best bet underneath jeans and uh, your gym pants your very your tight uh, leggings all of those I think a seamless panty is your best bet because it doesn't show that lining and then let me introduce you to thongs and g-strings so I know not everybody is comfortable wearing g-strings or thongs because uh, it, it goes up your butt uh, but once you start wearing them and you get comfortable with them they're the best underwear to wear trust me you don't have to bother about anything you just wear g-string with everything and it just it it has no underwear line it has nothing and it feels really feather soft i have a bunch of them right here which i'll show it to you this is sort of a mm, don't judge me this is sort of a g-string um like a thong basically it's the same thing it's just a type of thong uh, so again, this goes right up your butt, okay, so you don't get any underwear line again and they're really thin straps on the side of your thighs and they're regular, they're just basic regular g -strings. they're not basic, but they're just your regular g-strings, I got this from H&M, can you guess the price of this? 75 rupees for a beautiful H&M lacy g-string, um, like I said it's on sale so definitely go check H&M out guys, they have some pretty damn good stuff so now we saw seamless big underwears uh, then we have seamless thongs also so again this is something that it's undetectable underneath your dress so if you're wearing a body hugging dress anything that completely sticks to your body and you cannot have your underwear line showing through your beautiful dress when you're going outside either wear no underwear that's one option definitely that's totally okay um, and secondly is you can wear something like this which is a thong again this is from angel secret i have no idea i just picked this from a regular lingerie store this is again a seamless thong there are no stitches here it's very very smooth okay so again this goes right up your bum uh, but it's the most amazing thing you can invest in because it's nude again it's absolutely skin color uh, so it's undetectable there's no lining there's nothing so seamless thongs seamless nude underwears definitely have black and nude underwear in like everything your bras your thongs your g-strings your cotton panties those are the two basic colors you have to have and uh, some different options are a lace i love lace like i told you there's some lacy thongs you can get these are from h&m again i got one in shocking pink one in white basically different types of thongs you can wear okay so i'm pretty sure you might have a question when i'm chumming and girls who wear sanitary napkins and not tampons uh, i know it can be a very big dilemma like okay what underwear should i wear if i want to wear a tight clothes but i'm chumming and i want to wear a sanitary pad your sanitary napkin will sit comfortably on the seamless nude underwear uh, because obviously it's like a basic cotton panty but without the stitching so definitely you can wear your sanitary napkin on the seamless underwear and then you can wear your tight dress because again it's seamless you have your sanitary napkin on and you're comfortable and there's no lining showing um just a few more tips i'd like to give you before i sign off is try not wearing a wired bra to the gym actually never wear a wired bra to the gym because it does stab you on the sides and it's not good because you're running you're like bending down and you do not want to wear a regular bra you do want to wear a sports bra and i'm sure all of you know what a sports bra is i will insert an image here in case you don't it's just a very comfortable padded bra that you can wear just go size down because when you go size down in your sports bra it sort of um holds your cleave like holds your boobies together really tight so it doesn't jiggle a lot and I know boobs, do they hurt when you run on the treadmill and it's not comfortable whatsoever. So definitely um, wear sports bra. You can live in sports bras. I live in sports bras. Okay, I just love sports bras. They're comfortable. They come in racer back, regular back, whatever you want. Uh, so that's tip number one. Tip number two is do not sleep with your bra on. Definitely not a wired bra, but any bra. Try sleeping without any bra. Leave them tatas, let them sleep and breathe and come on, like treat them like human beings, okay? They're your boobies. I mean, boobies are the best. <laughs> so you want to just let them live and um, 
you don't want to wear anything tight that is that are just crushing your boobs when you're going to bed because it's like eight to nine hours um so you want to let them free um and try not wearing underwear as well when you go to bed basically just sleep with nothing or sleep with like a nighty on do not wear underwear too because i just recently found out that it really clogs your vajayjay it really sort of gets you can get bacterial infections and stuff like that because it's clogged underneath imagine your yourself underneath a cloth for like eight to nine hours it's gonna get suffocating inside and breed like it's gonna just lead to a lot of infections and you don't want that to so sleep without your underwear sleep open sleep bare uh, i think that's the best way to sleep just wear a light loose shorts on or like a loose t-shirt on try to wear loose things guys when you're going to bed that's your best bet i think i covered most of it um if there's any questions you have leave it down below i'll try and get uh i'll try and answer them for you and girls please help each other out in the comment section so that is all i have for you i love you so very much you guys know that i will be back with more videos i love you and i will see you in my next one bye guys peace